What's going on everyone? It's Joe the Lawnware. I'm at the Project Lawn today. And guess what? Organic fertilizer works. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm at the Project Lawn today. It's been 35 days now since we've thrown down the second application of the year, which the second application of the year was lawn box in the front lawn and in the backyard as well. In the backyard, it looks really great. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. But what if you don't know about lawn box, lawn box is an all organic, a 100% organic fertilizer company. They are OMRI listed, meaning that a third party looks at the ingredients and certifies that the ingredients in the bags are organic. Now, Lawn Box, like I said, subscription base. Anderson's is the parent company of Lawn Box. So, which is really great about their subscription is they do a satellite image of your yard. They determine the square footage that they, you would need. And then what happens is they ship out monthly the fertilizers that they recommend to throw down. So now at the Project Lawn, I've done a soil test myself and I know that they don't need phosphorus in their lawn and actually they do have a waterway. They actually have a lake that they back up to. So we're trying not to use phosphorus so it doesn't leach out or run off into any kind of waterways. So what I'm trying to look for is fertilizers that don't have any phosphorus in it. So what we're gonna throw down here today at the Project Lawn is Lawn Box's Lawn Lux. It's a 707 fertilizer. We're gonna put down 0.25 pounds of N on their front yard and in their backyard. They have about 10,000 square feet total, their front and back. So what I did was is I used my Purdue calculator, again, to determine how much I would need to throw down in their front lawn. That measured out to about seven pounds. So that's what I just got done doing was I got done spreading out the fertilizer in the front lawn. And then let me take it into the backyard and show you the backyard. So I just wanna walk the front lawn here with you guys. I did do a blanket spray of uh, weed control earlier in the year and it really did take a, it did, took care of a lot of weeds. It's really cleaned up their yard. It looks really great. As you can see, this GCI Cool Blue, that's what we flew down, uh, threw, flew down. <laughs> that's what we threw down in the fall time. It looks really good. Um, it's really filled in throughout the springtime now, heading into summertime. We're probably gonna throw down some Mountain View seed this year because I've really saw really good results in my lawn at my own house. So we're probably gonna throw that down in the fall time this year. But overall, I would say the GCI Cool Blue in the front yard looks really great. So here we are in the backyard. YouTube's probably gonna hate me for this, but there is a swim club in the back. So I'm trying to talk over to music so it doesn't affect the video in any way. But as you can see back here, it looks really great. Again, 35 days since we've thrown down any fertilizer. The fertilizer we actually threw down last time was I didn't have the Lawn Lux at the time. It was a Grass Genie, it's called, made by Lawn Box. Again, it's a 1006 fertilizer. So obviously there's a little bit more nitrogen in the uh, Grass Genie as opposed to the Lawn Lux. But overall, you can see 35 days, the color just looks really great. They've been cutting it regularly. They have, they, they're they not as on top of their watering as I am. They more rely on the rainwater, but that's okay. That's fine. But as you can see back here, looks really great. It's filled in. Again, we use GCI Cool Blue back here in the fall as well. Next year, uh, like I said, in the fall, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Probably do some Mountain View seed. I'll probably get that from Tuckahoe Turf Farm because of course I love supporting Tuckahoe Turf Farm. If you're interested in gra any grass seed, I'll, I'll do a little plug for them right here. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, Tuckahoe Turf Farm. I just, their sod farm is amazing. They support a lot of professional teams. They use Mountain View seed exclusively for their tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. Go check them out. I'll leave them. They're always linked below in my bio. Again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. No commission for me at all. I just love supporting them. It's a great family business or family run business that started out as and it's just awesome side farm go check out that video as well but like i said in the fall time that's what we're going to throw down at the project lawn so right here is the bag of the lawn lux a 707 analysis like i said earlier it is omri listed guys a lot of products out there will either say they're natural or they are organic if they don't have that omri listed label right on the bag then they're not truly organic guys omri listed is they list that for a reason Obviously, Lawn Box, they strive for getting that label. So again, 100% organic, Lawn Lux, all their lineup at Lawn Box is 100% organic. And as you can see right here at the Project Lawn, we're seeing really great results.
that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you have any questions or concerns on today's video leave it down in the comment section below and i'll get back to you obviously i just want to really document my journey here at the project lawn and show you the results that i'm seeing with the lawn box again i don't want to draw any conclusions yet we'll see how the remainder of the season goes but so far i would say organic fertilizer it works if you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. I'll leave them linked below. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.